Hey guys, Django here. Today it's time for another float boat. We're gonna take a look at the Sunderland Mark V introduced in patch 1.65 for the British 3. Let's take a look at this plane and what the differences are with the Mark III. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. We are approaching the first base and we're not going for the base itself. We're gonna throw some bombs on these targets here. And I was planning to swoop to the left and get all the bombs off, but I missed one bomb, tried to get back. <laughs> Ooh, to straighten out the place, uh, calm down. We're getting plenty of opportunity to throw some more bombs. So I dropped uh, three of the four 500s and they are going to kill some howitzers, hopefully. We've got a few targets flying in there, but I'm well above them. No risk. So yeah, we got four targets there. Very nice. And we made our way to that column. I have one 500 left and let's see if we can throw that on something here. I just got to make sure I throw it on the road here. We're on such altitude that it's going to take a while for that thing to, uh, to get there. Now we did get a match slightly underneath the battle rating, a lot of 1.7 planes. This plane is 2.0 in realistic and uh, you can of course get down tiered all the way to 1.0 though you barely never get that. You often get the 1.7s and the 2.3s, 2.7s. I've had some matches against E7s as well. Which is a completely different ball game as the, the 1.7s. Here you are a master and against cannon mounted planes you are more of a target. <laughs> Let's say that. In these kind of matches you often have the better firepower compared to the fighters. So after dropping our bombs we decided to take uh, this plane into some uh, dogfighting <laughs> situations. And use the plane as a gunship. The Mark V has extra guns to the side, including 50 cals, and has a lot of firepower. Really is a very, very dangerous plane. So let's see, we've got some Jadu 87s here. They are from the same squadron, so they are squatting. And they were... They shot down one of my allies right here. We get a hit on this guy. And his ally, I was looking for him, but he's actually coming up behind me there. I'm shooting back here now with more than equal firepower and we critted his tail control which is good he seems to be going down yeah that seems to be like a plane going into the dirt his buddy has thought the better of it and is leaving and I thought to go after him so I make a turn look at the turn rate on this gigantic plane <laughs> It's fantastic, the maneuverability for such a huge plane is fantastic. Just be careful because you're gonna get extreme loads on the wings and you, you will have extreme overload a lot of the time. You just gotta straighten out the wings for a few seconds and it will go away and you can continue on your turn. It happens in certain uh, situations, so you just have to keep an eye on that and make sure to correct the plane in time. I thought these guys were gonna come at me, the two of them, so I wanted to have them uh, on my tail, at uh, my tail gunner. But uh, seems like the Ju87 is uh, extending, and I decided to go in and see if I could shoot myself this CR42. Now he's coming down. I can't adjust that quickly, and he crashed into my pylon, <laughs> and I hit him a few times. Maybe one of my gunners hit him as well, but uh, that's the end of him. And he didn't crash, I got the kill, so that's nice. And my second kill. And this Heinkel 51 escapes doom here. Now, if you turn the plane, which is which is quite nice, uh, it, it manu quite maneuverable, uh, and you put the nose down a little bit, the plane also accelerates pretty nicely, which is a, a good skill. And if you look at the bullet holes in the belly, the plane can also take damage quite nicely. It can soak a lot of damage, especially from machine guns. 
cannon rounds are a little bit of a different ball game of course especially um, the minen geschoss on the e7 which i have faced already in this plane it, it, it is well that that can kill you <laughs> most definitely now we're rolling over the top here only the rolling over the top is uh, not so fluid <laughs> God damn it guys, you didn't fix the rolling over the top in this plane, it's got to be much better than this. <laughs> well, no, of course not, it, that, that was fantastic. I'm leading a little bit too much here as that guy is stalling out and we should have shot right at him. I'm, I'm not quite there with the aim there. But, uh, oh well, we can't get them all, right? So again we're turning in for attack, uh, there are several enemy planes left and uh, two in the battlefield right here and two others who are reloading at the moment repairing or whatever they're doing and uh, let's see if we can actually we're catching up to this uh, Heinkel 51 at this slightly lower battle rating the, the 2.0 1.7 1.3 battle rating you are actually faster in a slight dive than many of the opposition which is quite cool especially if they just turned uh, you can really wreak havoc with this thing as a gunship I should have used my back gunner there you should make use of that a lot when you just pass people like that So yeah, extremely durable, good maneuverability, and uh, the defensive armament on this plane is fantastic compared to the Mark III. Some extra guns on the side which takes away a lot of the weak points, the weak angles that this plane had. You can use those guns on the side to aim downwards a little bit as well. So, uh, you know, very very nice. Coming up from below the plane, uh, slightly to the side is already dangerous now. And that was a major weak point of this plane. Coming up from below and then uh, trying to shoot at a wing and cripple it. That was a good way to attack these uh, the Mark III. It's going to be a little bit more difficult with the Mark V due to its defensive guns. As for uh, offensive bomb load, it's still the same. The, the best load is the 4x500 and the, there's not too many options. It is quite limited in that of course because it is a float plate, can land on water so you can't have a normal bomb bay. Now the Heinkel 100 has come out together with his BF109 friend here. And, uh, they are, and I have a buffalo as a companion. So it's two versus two, and uh, we are the gunship <laughs> in the middle of this whole thing. The battleship waiting for the smaller uh, vessels to attack him. Here he comes. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's an old guard. This is an experienced pilot. Been in the game for four years. Probably trying out his new Heinkel 100. And uh, if he's not careful, he's being shot to pieces by this gunship. <laughs> he realizes that and he extends. BF-109 is coming in. He's being put on fire as he strives through our um, our bullets. Getting a, we're getting a hit in. We should definitely get an assist on that guy if he dies by that fire. Which is always nice. Not that I'm researching anything anymore. <laughs> Got the British tree unlocked by now. But uh, hey, uh, this, this plane for most people uh, will be used to grind out part of the tree, right? And I think it's pretty good at that. It's excellent at that, actually. Now we are, we are definitely gaining on this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, looks like he has no more engine. His engine is failing. We got a hit in, we're passing him here. Probably doesn't have the energy to uh, pitch up. Let's peppering a little bit with the backward gun. With the rear gun, let's see. Yeah, there he goes, we got him. <laughs> nice, that's our third air kill. Very nice. 
And that's the match as well. 3 air kills, 3 assists and 5 ground targets destroyed. That gives us the first place. And let's see what kind of rewards we get. Ooh, trophy. Trophy. Ah, just an order. Jack of all trades. Okay. Now ah, let's see. Here we got lots of special rewards here in this match. We did <laughs> we did everything right, I guess. We got uh, the final blow, anti-mech, the terror of the sky, bulletproof, and on hand. Very nice. 65,000 silver lines and 4,100 research points. First place in the team. Guys, I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now this plane is basically identical in flight model to the Mark III. It has the same good acceleration. It has the same turn time maneuverability is good. Of course it rips, you have to be careful of the maximum speed which lies at around 360, 370, you start to come into dangerous speeds then and in turns you've got to be careful of extreme overload as well because there's going to be a lot of pressure on the wings but all in all fantastic flight model for such a heavy bomber it only has uh, the 4 times 500 let's see it only has the 4 times 500 pound bombs, you can also take 8 times 250, that might be beneficial to get some soft targets actually. But um, yeah, and good defensive armament, that's the main difference with the Mark III. You've got these 7.7mm machine guns here and here on the side, and you've got 50 cals here and here, and the Mark III doesn't have those 4 guns. They can also shoot down a little bit so you are less vulnerable from below. The plane is very sturdy, can soak up a lot of damage. Great bomber, lots of fun to use as a gunship as you saw in the video. Go out there, spade this plane and grind a large part of the tree with it. It is hugely fun to fly this plane out I have to say. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.